implement the concept of abstract class design an abstract class named shape with data member area and two pure virtual function find area and display details create two classes named rectangle and circle derived from shape Rectangle classes having data member length and breadth, classes having data member radius. Include constructor in both subclasses rectangle and circle to initialize data members. Using the object of rectangle and circle, find and display area of rectangle and circle respectively. So in this program, we have three classes. The first base class is shape. From shape, we have to derive two subclasses rectangle and circle. Shape is an abstract class because it consists of at least one pure virtual function. We have to include two pure virtual function, find area and display details in the shape class so that it makes a compulsion to override these methods, find area and display details in its derived class rectangle and circle. And the shape is an abstract class. So we won't be able to create a normal object for shape class. We have to create a pointer object for shape class and the pointer object can point to any of the derived class object and the respective functions can be called. So in this program, first we create a class shape, which is a base class. From the class shape, we have to create two subclasses. The first one is rectangle class. Another one is circle. So we are creating class rectangle colon public shape. So rectangle is a derived class from the base class shape. Similarly, we create another class which is circle class. The circle class is also derived from shape class. So we write class circle colon public shape. So in total, we have three class. The first is a base class shape and from base class shape, we create two derived classes rectangle and circle. So it is an example for hierarchical inheritance where in which one parent class is having more than two derived class. In the shape class, we are declaring one data member, public data member, which is named as area and two virtual function. It is a pure virtual function. The first one is find area and the second one is display details. Both are pure virtual functions. That's why we have written equal zero. There is no definitions. So virtual keyword is used for defining pure virtual function and there is no definition for pure virtual function in the base class. So it has to, the function name has to be followed by equal zero. Now in the derived class rectangle, we have two data member length and breadth as private data member. We are including parameterized constructor. for initializing the value of data member length and breadth. So we write length equal L and breadth equal to B. Now both the pure virtual function need to be overridden inside the rectangle class. So first we are overriding find area method. Now this find area method is used to calculate the area of rectangle. So area of rectangle can be calculated as length into breadth. So area equals length into breadth. So the area has been calculated as length into breadth. Next we have to override display details method. So display detail is also a pure virtual function in the shape class. So we must override display details in rectangle class. Display detail method is used to display all the details regarding rectangle length, breadth and area of rectangle. So by using C out statement, we display length, then we display breadth and after that we display area of rectangle. Here area is a data member of the shape class, but it is a public data member. So it can be accessed directly inside the derived class rectangle. So 
Similarly, in the circle class, circle is also a derived class from shape. We are writing one private data member radius. For storing radius, we are using data member as R. In the public section, we are including a parameterized constructor for initializing the value of R. Parameter name is R. Since the parameter name and data member name both are same, in order to access the data member, we have to use this pointer. So we have written this R equals R. So the parameter value R will get stored into the data member R. In circle class also, we have to override both method find area and display detail. First, we are overriding find area, which is used to find the area of circle. So area of circle is calculated as 3.14 pi into R into R. So the result will get stored into the data member area, where area is a data member of shape class. Next, we are overriding display details. Display details is used to display all the details of circle. So we have to display the radius and the area of circle. First, we display radius, which is stored in the data member R. Next, we display area, which is stored in the data member area of shape class. Now the shape class is an abstract class, so we won't be able to create a normal object for abstract class. So we have to create a pointer object. And in order to call the method belonging to the derived class, overridden method belonging to the derived class, we require object of derived class so that the pointer object of the base class can hold the address of the respective derived class object before calling the methods. So first we are creating a pointer object for shape class, shape star obj, where obj is the pointer object of shape class. Then we create a rectangle object, r1, and parameterized constructor will get called with parameter values 5.3 and 4.5, which goes to length and breadth of rectangle. Next, we have made the obj to point to the address of rectangle object. So obj equal address of r1, and then we can call find area and display details. Now, in this case, obj find area and obj display detail will make the find area and display detail of rectangle class to get called because obj is currently pointing the address of rectangle object. Next, we create a circle object. C1 is the circle object. And then the pointer object of base class obj points to the address of C1. Now, if we call the find area and display details now by using the pointer object obj, it will call of circle class. It will call the method of circle class because the obj is currently pointing the address of a circle object, which is C1. So it is an example for dynamic binding or runtime polymorphism because we can see that obj arrow operator we are using to call the method find area and display detail. So it is producing different results. In the first find area and display detail, it is for rectangle class. And in the next find area and display detail, it is for circle class. So by using the pointer object of base class, we can call the derived class overridden virtual function methods. So when the pointer object of shape points to the rectangle object, it will call method belonging to the rectangle class. When the pointer object of shape points to the address of circle object, it will call the method belonging to the circle class.